the way we were brought up so we can move forward and onward. God bless you. Let us all stand to our feet as we receive out of Cameron, Florida, Southeast Region, Pastor Dorothy Aaron. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory! Shall we wash the Lord Jesus? In this house, 
But I came in and I knelt down. I hear the Lord said, I'm here. You see, you see, you see me talking about sex. And I hear the Lord said to me, I am here. I said, Lord, I thank you for being here. Oh, hallelujah. So bring the spirit of God in the midst. To my bishop, Bishop McCoy, Bishop Brady's absence, and my other bishop, that's my pastor there from Canada, even though in Tamrak he's my bishop, and also the great angel of this house, and his lovely wife, and all the other bishops, Bishop Curry, Bishop Palmer, and all the other bishops, and saints and workers of the vineyard, and Obsia, he is the all you wonderful saints, I greet you in the name of Jesus God. Pastor, where's Pastor Fergus? God bless you, my God. Oh, hallelujah. I just want to say, Pastor Madis, the Madis, I just want to say, I, I came here. The same thing happened to me again. I came here in 1988. When I came, I'm, I'm going to go home, Bishop. My a little bit. Bishop, uh, Bishop, my Bishop said to me, Bishop, came and he said to me, the topic was comforting. Comforting my people said to your God, I don't know if you remember me. And Bishop CPS from I 40. And Bishop said to me, You will preach the message today. Yeah. I said, Me, sir? No, sir. <laughs> and Bishop said to me, Oh, you are well able. Bishop Richard said to me, You are well able to bring the word. And I obeyed. And when I saw that, to say, God, you know, you know, God. Yeah. But then this morning while I was home, Holy Ghost said to me, you're going to speak today. They're going to call you. So I said, I thought it was myself. Give me a minute. So I, I tried to hide. And then I said, I'm looking for South Pastor Watson. I went to say to look for Pastor Watson. And I went to look for Pastor Woody. And I said, if they're here, then everything will be all right. I went to look for Pastor Jackie. And I said, if they're here, then they won't call me because they're not Pastor Fred. My money is on the bus. towards me. I thank him for keeping me. I thank him for the journey. You know, I want you to understand here that when we start at this journey, we only heard about the beginning of the journey. And we heard about the end, which is eternal life. But we do not know what's in the middle of it. Hello, somebody. But I want to let you know, glory to God, I am standing here as a living witness. Before I go in the front of Mishnah Makawa, where are you? I want to bless God for you, man. Because when I came here in 1988, and the Lord showed me something Hallelujah. right here. And when I when I when I did it, because you know at that time, when the Lord, when you when you when you're young, young, you know, young and, and ripe, and don't understand, I don't understand. And all you want to do is kill everything. Yeah. Are you here? You want to mash up everything? Yeah. Because you think it's not right, you just want to mash it up. Because you're not young and you don't understand. So I mash up something Jesus. secretly. But somebody almost killed me. My God. A missionary who came with us almost killed me. I thought I died. And she says to me, that's not how God work. Be it yourself. The devil is using you. And Mr. Macalina hear it. But I stood here in the morning and I, I said, God, if it is you, send somebody to me. And you heard what she said. And there's another thing the Lord gave her for me to say that. She saw me, that was 20 years ago. She had a dream of Bishop Richards came to Florida and he presented me a gift. And he says to me, the Lord said, upon your faithfulness, this belongs to you. I have not seen that one yet. <laughs> but I believe God. I believe God. When, when you leave yourself in the hands of God, God can work for you. You have a church for me. I received this gospel. I was a wayward somebody. I tell the wayward bad. I'm going to the wayward bad. Bishop Thompson all left them knew me when I, when I went to his examine the first day and Mother Dice said to me, will you be saved? So 
woman leave me alone. I just went to be because to get rid of her. I went up there to get rid of one of the best and Jackie. But when I got up there, something else happened. Oh, you know, some toy. But funny, when I was in the presence of God, I, 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 I felt good. But as I get out, I start mocking them. Look at these idiots. And even when I even when they call me to baptize, I didn't want to go. So I hide, I saw Mr. McCullough one day in some way, and I hide from her. I said, I ain't going there because this woman's going to bother me. But when the fullness of God came, God be black in my heart. And I want to tell you something too, the journey was so long, hard, because the same woman who came to church, woke up on you know who? She took me to church and because I was feeling the Holy Ghost too much. I'm just giving them a testimony briefly. I come in. The journey, the woman who took me to church. As soon as I was feeling the Holy Ghost two months after, and each time the Lord, the Bishop, Bishop Brian, God bless him, called the woman, and I say something. We used to work together. And as soon as I get to work, she said, Empty bag, make the most nice. And because you're empty, and you're loud, you're that big voice. <laughs> Bishop, the same one who tried to get me to church, Bishop, the same one who wanted to kill me. But God said something to me to tell her. Because, listen to me. I, when I went to church the first day, and I got baptized, Bishop and a brother wanted to take me again. Because he's going to hang in more down. I said, he's going to hang in and wash. Because I smoke one cigarette for the road. If you were here before I get baptized, I said one for the road. <laughs> and I said, I'm just going to be myself. Yeah. One for the road, Lord. And so when I got to church that night, the cigarette hand didn't go down. So they had to be shy. I said, Deeper again. <laughs> so I He's have a cup of tea and a cigarette, you're not saying. So me now, a cup of tea, a cigarette and a cup of tea. The devil said to me, why don't you go home and have a, cup, a cigarette and a cup of tea? Yeah. Well, you're just wasting time. The word the Lord gave me a word. What? Just the one little word. So be me taken from me, my poor. This is verse. So be made the wall. And the entire wall was drawn together up to the half of the half side, my battery really free, for the people of mine to work. And it's in, in, in Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter four, three. Say what? Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter four. Sorry. He said in verse seven. Say, but we have this treasure in earthen vessel, that the excellence of the power may be of God yeah. and not of us. We are killed. We are perplexed on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not forsaken. Persecuted, we are personal, sorry, we are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken.
to save you. My Bible says, struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the time of the Lord Jesus, that the life of the Lord Jesus also may be manifest in our life. Glory to God. So here we see, here we see Nehemiah when he saw the, 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 the walls of Jerusalem were torn down. Yeah. And he had he looked at it and he felt so sorry and wanted to build it. Yeah. But while building it, I have to make it fast. While building it, he had a lot of problems. Yeah. While building the wall, glory to God, there was some trouble. Yeah. Some bots and Tobias. Yeah. They glory to God were fighting. I am here to tell somebody today. Some bots and Tobias will fight you yeah. when you want to do what you want to do.
You'll never hear them. You'll never hear them say, with God I live, or I'm strong, or I'm all I But I hear, we, 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 everything I can't bother. God save you. Jesus Christ save you. It's that man save you. And we give too much, we give a lot of, of the credit to the enemy. But church and the living God, we're on a journey. And that journey will not stop until we leave this place. Yes, 
Yes. Some have a tendency to think it's only fornication and adultery. It's sin. Listen to me, nobody didn't tell me nothing. I'm speaking to the man. I don't believe you. Some think it's only fornication. And they shot the little sister the brother back bench and said, and said, listen to me, listen to me. Who oh, you are not to go now? Bound men, bound spirits. So, God said, Once you lose on earth, you lose in heaven, Bishop. Once you're bound on earth, you're bound in heaven. Yet, you get in front of people and tell them, and tell the virgin, don't talk to them. Sit them on the way back in that lady sitting. And two days they've gone out of the tree. But when they commit their sins, we take them to the front bench. Sit them right here. Feed them with the word. That's what God tells you. That's what God tells you. Feed them with the word. Nourish them. And by that spirit that is in them, causing them not to live right. To have a church on here. So when we malice, and when we, oh God, and we kill one another. I don't know what I'm speaking as the Holy Ghost said. You remember Elijah? You see Elijah? After Elijah came up, all those four and fifty false prophets, church, he heard that Jezebel. Oh God Almighty, we bind Jezebel spirit right now. We bind that Jezebel spirit. Only 
me here now. Let me, let me, let me declare that. And let me declare that. In case somebody say you want to come to work, say, there's a very pretty here in the church here. But I'm speaking at a universal the church of the living God. I think we can bind those gentlemen spirits. Then the church will be at a low level. But when we can kill those spirits, then we can say, lift up your heads. Lift your heads. And we lift down. God can walk into nonsense. God can walk into mess. God can walk into something that's not right. It has to be right. So let's get it right and move on. For God I am. For God I am. This journey is great. The church of the living God, my bishop is going to keep me. God bless you. God bless you. I saw some walking with stick. I saw some limping. You know why they keep on limping and sick? Because the church is not together. When the church member, when the apostles get the doctrine and they lay hands on the people, oh God Almighty, they recover. I watched your young man outside with a pain today. Good God Almighty, that came should be true with the image and man walk in the house of the Lord as God wanted to walk. Sickness must die. But until we come to the knowledge and as we come together, then the sick will be raised, will be healed. The dead will be raised too. But it takes us to come to the Lord. So church of living God today, believe for God, we have this treasure, the broken vessel, excellency of the power, may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, we are not distressed, we are cast out, we are perplexed, but nothing is that is true. Ekoshaya, be happy because we are together, so spirit, Yes. Yes. Catch on the spirit. Spirit bond together. Yes. Hey, hallelujah to Jesus. I am on a mission. Glory to God. I want you to know that when I was called to the ministry, I had a great problem. The terrorists said they were using me. Somebody called me from Canada and said, You God don't give. Don't give to the They can give you a dream. God, don't give me a dream like that. But I said to them, if it is of the Lord, it will stand. If it is not God, it will mash up. And when I went away and I started the ministry, he would be so comes like husband. Because he turned against me. Lord Jesus, you, you know all of that. And even though the demon did not go and try to terrorize me, but I bind him in the name of Jesus. You know them dead and gone to hell. So from the Lord God, where you'll be walking. He died and gone to hell. And he came to my house. And Holy Ghost asked me to go shot Holy Ghost shots. My youth are M16. By in the name of Jesus. This is what God has allowed me to use. This is my M16. And I'm going to allow me to bow shot somehow. Kill him dead. So. 
Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. So we cannot allow no man circumcised feelings to stay. To mess up on my God. If you come down, when you leave, you must be close. 